So um, in this example, Sam, uh, what we're trying to do is, again, we're trying to evaluate for theta. Now, a lot of you guys get to this point with solving. So this is always, Kyle, so this is always one that we're always going to be coming back to. And just remember, hey, if we're trying to find theta, we need to go back to the unit circle and say, what is the angle when tangent of our angle equals the square root of 3? Now, remember, tangent represents your y over your x coordinate on the point on the unit circle. So if I just look at the first unit circle here, I mean the first quadrant, I have here is the square root of 3 over 2, comma, 1 half. That's square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Here's 1 half, comma, square root of 3 over 2. So I need to see which y over x coordinate is going to produce the square root of 3. Well, you can say yes, be 60 degrees, which is pi over 3, because you have square root of 3 over 2 divided by 1 half. That equals the square root of 3. So therefore, I can say theta equals pi over 3, or 60 degrees. But that's not it, though. Because remember, what about if I said negative square root of 3 over 2 divided by negative 1 half? Would that still equal? Oh, if it had constraints between 0 and 90? OK, never mind. So therefore, our only answer would be pi over 3. All right. If it said the constraint was between 0 and 2 pi, then yes, obviously, you would have to go and use the angle. Um, I forgot. This one only says in the first quadrant, right? OK, yep. so that would be your final answer. Yep. It was once in degrees and radians. OK, so pi over 3 is what, 60 degrees? OK. Um, I forgot to mention, guys, give yourself a uh, MAT or H for each one. I'll let you guys grade.